Hey guys, today's video is going to be first part of a baby tutorial. I'm not sure if there are gonna be two or three parts. Hopefully I can fit it into two. Today we're going to be making the head, so I hope you'll enjoy. First thing you're going to need is a sketch like this. Now if you're not working in a specific scale, you don't necessarily need one, but it's a great way to check and see if the different body parts are the right size in proportion or relation to each other. Next you're going to need some clay, and the clay I'm using is the Fimo Professional Doll Art, and I mixed a few different shades. I then took a piece of wire and bent it a couple of times on the middle to give it some strength. I also bent the tip so that the tin foil I added wouldn't slide off. I then covered that in clay and started sculpting. To start off, I first pushed back kind of the top half of the head just to get some more dimension, and I then used my tool to mark off the eyes and kind of the bottom of the cheeks or where the nose and mouth area would be. I do recommend that you check out my other two doll tutorials if you haven't seen those yet, just because they might have some tips or info that won't be in these videos. I then added a small piece of clay for the nose and blended out the seams. I also started working on the shape a bit and the bridge of the nose just to give it again some more dimension. I do recommend keeping some pictures of actual babies next to you while you work, so you're able to use those as a reference. I then added a new piece of clay, which is going to be kind of the upper lip and whatever that part between the mouth and the nose is called, and then added that and blended out the seams. I then started defining the shape of the lip or the mouth and added the piece for the bottom lip and chin. The tools you'll see me use are mainly a couple of silicone tools that I have from a local uh, shop, so I can't help you with where you can get those, although I'm sure you can find some online, eBay and other websites. I also have a tutorial showing how you can make your own version, although they are made from a different material and will work slightly differently. Other than that, I also used a couple of dotting tools and needle tools. Now if you don't have the silicone tools and you don't have the materials to make your own, you can make this just by using dotting tools, needle tools and your fingers. I made a couple of miniature babies back in 2012, I think, and I used dotting tools and needle tools for those. But silicone tools are useful and I would recommend that you either buy some or make some, depending on what's easier for you. Once you have this, it's really just a matter of correcting the shapes, adding more details, etc.
Something I started doing when making miniature dolls is that you know how sometimes you're making a face and the cheeks are looking too flat or you want the chin or the forehead to be moved further forward. Instead of adding more clay on top and then having the issue of blending the seams, I started cutting into the side or the back of the head and then using my tools to push the clay forward to get the right placement. I then add clay to the pocket that I just made and close it back up. It's kind of like plastic surgery on a miniature doll, I guess. As I'm showing in this video, I used it for the cheeks of this baby, but you can really use it for any part of the face or body for that matter. Before I added the ears, I pre-baked the head to harden it. You don't have to pre-bake it at this point. I did it so that I wouldn't end up squishing any of the details I had already made. But after pre-baking, I then just added some clay to the side of the head where I wanted the ears to be to give the new clay something to grab onto and then started sculpting the ears. And before I sculpted anything else, I did pre-bake it once again for a couple of minutes. 